what a truly wonderful day this is. The 200th anniversary of the construction of your beautiful cathedral. The construction began in 1814 and was completed in 1817. So it says in the historical marker above the door, the main door. You are the temple of God. The Spirit dwells in you. God's temple is not merely a building. God's temple is the human person. Then we must give true respect to our bodies, to our own selves. We are temples of the Holy Spirit. In us dwells not only the Holy Spirit, but the whole Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. What a tremendous mystery. In us lives the infinite, ineffable, almighty God. And in this year of the clergy and consecrated life, the Lord's words apply to the clergy and persons in consecrated life even more. They say no to violent extremism, to criminality of all sorts, to extrajudicial killings. They say no to the various political and ideological conflicts in our society all over the Philippines, insurgencies of different kinds. By their life, consecrated persons say yes to unity in diversity. They say yes to respecting people with different faiths, respect for Muslims, for Christians, Hindus of different types, Buddhists, etc. They say yes to solidarity with God, solidarity with others, solidarity with all creation. You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build it my church. Today then, my brothers and sisters, our celebration of the 200th anniversary of the construction of the Malolos Cathedral is rich with meaning for our daily life. Our reflection on today's liturgy of the Word widens our understanding of the cathedral as God's temple. It is not only a physical building constructed in 1817. It is a church that is God's holy people. It is not only a house of prayer. It is a believing and praying community. It is not simply a religious institution. It is a community of God's presence. And the Church of Malolos, the temple of God in Malolos, is you, every one of you. And it is time for us to recognize their crucial role in our lives in this year of the clergy and consecrated life. May I therefore request the clergy of Malolos and the men and women religious who are here today 
may I kindly request them to stand up and be recognized. Let us give them a big hand. Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception, be ever our intercessor and constant companion in building the Lord's house. Congratulations to all of you on this historic anniversary of your beautiful cathedral, and may God bless you all.